This program is funded by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund with money from the vote of the people of Minnesota on November 4, 2008. And by the members of Prairie Public.
So this uh, band formed as kind of an uh, amalgamation of uh, two different things. My, my love for gypsy jazz, which I was introduced to in high school, kind of from two separate areas. One being uh, Willie Nelson would talk about how much he liked his guitar because it sounded like Django Reinhardt's guitar. And I, at the time, I was a really big fan of Willie Nelson. And I, and I, uh, I was like, who's this Django Reinhardt guy? So I went out and bought like a box set of his stuff and fell in love with his music. And around that same time, uh, another thing that got me into this music was uh, Woody Allen released a movie called Sweet and Lowdown, which I absolutely loved and has uh, you know, Sean Penn play this character that uh, is a gypsy jazz guitarist who is second to Django Reinhardt and the uh, the soundtrack to that I bought immediately and you know uh, just fell in love love with the music and then uh, Bistro Fada uh, was uh, one of the main themes of uh, Woody Allen's great film Midnight in Paris and uh, I, uh, I, I I absolutely loved that movie, and uh, one day somebody uh, posted uh, him playing it on Facebook, and I was like, wow, that's a, a difficult melody. And uh, he, he tagged me and a bunch of other guitar players, and like, okay, who can learn it first? And and so I, I learned it right away, and then I, I uh, just absolutely fell in love with it. feel sometimes jazz has gotten somewhat acad uh, academicized and there's nothing wrong with that but I you know I, I really wanted to it, it to be fun first and foremost and so I just really concentrate on you know will this be fun will people like this 
Bela T is a ballad I wrote uh, that I, I, I was very happy with how it turned out. Uh, and that, that, that's one of these songs that just didn't really take any work. Um, that doesn't come uh, come often. Like a lot of times, you know, you you have nuggets of ideas and you kind of put them together, and then you edit and you edit. Um, but it was it was a beautiful summer day, um, and I was teaching, and every student was coming in and telling me how beautiful it was, and I I can't enjoy it because I'm stuck inside teaching. And so I, I just started playing something, and uh, I, I started coming up with this riff and thought, God, that'd sound good on uh, clarinet. Um, it just came to me instantaneously. Uh, and yeah, that, uh, that doesn't happen often, but uh, it's such a treat when it does. <laughs>
so Miserloo, which most people know as a surf rock song, Dick Dale, uh, Dick Dale, and I can't remember his band name, but he, he did it fi most famously, and you know, it was in the Pulp Fiction soundtrack. Um, and someone commented to me that uh, you should arrange that song for the group, and I'm, I'm usually pretty open to taking songs and arranging for the group. And, and then uh, while doing it, I was like, well, I want to do this, but I don't want to necessarily play the guitar, the guitar line, the melody, and play it like Dick Dale. Um, and then I later found out that he didn't write it, and it's uh, a kind of a traditional uh, uh, Middle Eastern song that probably the melody would have been played on an instrument like clarinet. So without myself, uh, without really knowing about it, I uh, were probably playing that song more in an actual traditional sense um, just by pure, I, I, I thought I was going to be breaking away from the norm and I actually went back to the norm by doing it. So that was kind of bizarre.
This program is funded by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund with money from the vote of the people of Minnesota on November 4, 2008. And by the members of Prairie Public.